Salut coders, this is Piski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create subscriptions on your platform. You know, applications like Netflix, uh, like um, Spotify, uh, YouTube currently have subscription plan. If in my platform code with Piski e-learning, it also have a subscription plans where you pay monthly and yearly so you want to know how to implement this this is the right tutorial for you to create subscription with stripe if you are not pci dss compliant we see here if i click this subscribe button you'll be navigated to the subs to the subscription page this is the subscription this is what i want to show you how to implement it with stripe and this subscription is just for one month and it costs nine dollars 99 cents usd so if you are new to this channel, may kindly subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new video. So let's get started. So in our project, previously we created a payment session. So we want to create a subscription session. So what you can do, let's copy this method. There are a few things that we need to change. And we can come here. And here you just say create subscription session. We create a subscription session. Remember always our UUID. So let's say you want for a subscription. You can see nowadays there's a feature of, of trial. So we want your user to, to use your application. So what you need to do in the trial mode before they make a payment. So what you can do here, we just say here, I just say trial. I can say set subscription data, subscription data, and I can just use subscription, subscription data, this one, the builder pattern. So in this builder pattern, we just say set trial. So set trial period days. So for the days, I can say 30 days. Maybe you want your user to use the application in trial for 30 days. And the next thing that you want to change is the mode. It's no longer a payment. It's now a subscription. So by doing this, we have created a subscription params so there are also things that we want to change here here for the name and uh, i can say let's say this is a one month subscription so what i can do here you know in our session we have a metadata this one so what i can do i want to do this dot get data and I want to get an object called the package. Let's say it's called the package, the subscription package that you want. And I can put this in a string dot value of. It's a string. And this one is a package. So I can do this in the name. I can just do this. And here I can say package. This is going to be my package. And the user ID, you already know it. We can copy this. And you can paste it here. So this one was payment intent data and here it's no longer a payment intent data, it's a subscription. And you can copy, it's a subscription and I can change it here. Sorry, here in our builder and you can say shift F6 subscription data and here we no longer set a a payment intent data it's a subscription subscription data we have our package and we have the user who is subscribing to the platform and we can know the subscription so we are left with the one thing here we have 
set decimal amount right and for this one let's say for a month as you can see for mine it's nine to last nine 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 cents and this is going to be amount and what we need to do we need to tell that this is a recurring subscription so if it like this it's a one once of subscription but this one it's a recurring so we just said recurring right and it's a require a recurring here and from the builder as usual in our builder we want to let it know that it's a monthly recurring set interval and the interval i can say it's one month like this so since our package here will be month or a year what you can do here we just do this objects right we need this one dot equals and we can pass the package that we have and it's either we can have a year or a month so if it's a year it's going to be the interval year it's going to be a year or it's going to be a month it's also the same for the price what you can do for the price you can do the same if it's a year it's no longer 99 dollars here nine dollars it's no longer nine euro so we can do this this one was for it is one year you can do this 99.99 so you can configure this in your application so that we don't add code like what i'm doing then here we just say 9.99 times 100 make sure you multiply by 100 and for now let's just delete this we are no longer using it like this so by doing this we have created a subscription and here we set this is a recurring now let's do the one thing we need to call this method and it's going to be a new subscription so most of the things will just be the same we just change the type a subscription session this is going to be our subscription like this for for a success it might be different page on your web application so you can just say the page for subscription in case of a success subscription it's going to the route will be subscription success subscription and the, our user remember it's going to be test and the user details and you can get this user details from your application so let's test our application Our application is started at this port 1995 so we can open here let me close this so in our v2 here we have the new one the new endpoint and you can try this one and for user id i can say one two three and for session we don't need this one and in our data we just need one data here which we called package and here it's going to be a month a monthly package like this then we can send a request you can see after doing this this is going to be our session url 
for our subscription and i can copy the url and i can open it here you can see this is the subs subscribe to one month and we are in test mode and for this user can subscribe to one month and i can say 42 one two three test user and i can make a subscription here let's wait a subscription is done if you see the success url it's now success subscription Let's go to our pay out to our Stripe dashboard and I want to show you the subscription of this user. So let's go to the customers and we have this test user. You can see this is the subscription that we created today. And if I select this one, it's a one month, this one 99. You can see the details that we passed here one two three and the package it's one month and the user will also get an invoice of this so this is the subscription and this is how it works so if you are new to this channel make kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new video salut coders